Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. And on today's episode, well, it's all about the Candy Green Grasshopper. So this one I bought strictly as a shelf queen. So this does not have any electronics in it other than the uh, servo up front, just to keep the wheel straight. And I just threw one of those cheap um, four for 20 buck servos in there off of Amazon. Um, they work fine, uh, but you know, for five bucks, I figured I could keep the front tires from flopping around and you know, everything's in there in case I ever do want to run it. Um, does not have an ESC, does not have a receiver or anything. Um, I'm not going to go do a whole build video. Um, I didn't really record much of it. I did record a few little pieces, um, but I did put together kind of a little photo montage of it going together. And I also put together in there again, for those that may have not seen it, how I put the Hornet hopper tires and wheels together. Um, I know th this is a very simple kit to put together. These tires can make you want to quit RC if you don't know how to put them together well. So I'll probably voice over a little bit of that just to explain what's in the pictures. Um, but otherwise, I'm just going to leave you guys off with kind of the photo montage of it kind of being built and then we'll take some pictures of it outside. Um, the only thing I did different to this was I painted the roll bars on it chrome uh, versus black as they say in the manual. Uh, the lights were painted black just like they are in the manual but the roll bar you know I wanted it to stand out more you know the candy green kind of pops and I really wanted the the roll bars to kind of stand out more than just you know black shiny plastic looking things so i thought it came out pretty cool let me know what you guys think down in the comments but anyway guys everybody out there you guys be happy be healthy be safe and i will catch you on the next one i have an update coming with a lot a lot a lot a lot of stuff in it <laughs> so see you guys then Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get these tire wheels and tires put together. So get everything laid out, get your insides and outsides together, and we're going to start putting the nuts on the back side of the back of the wheel. Put a piece of green tape or whatever tape you have just to cover up those nuts to keep them from falling out. If you're having any stubborn ones, screw the nut onto one of the bolts, insert it down into the well, and then back the bolt out. Um, after you get all of them taped up, you're ready to start putting the inserts in the wheels. Now this is where it gets troublesome. The front one, you just want to stick it straight through the tire, um, right down the middle, rotate it, and then get the bead set in there. The front tire is much easier than the rear tire is. The rear tire is going to be the one that gives you trouble. As you can see here, the rear, you really have to stretch that tire, but just kind of work one side of it and into the other. And then once it pops in, you're golden. All you have to do is rotate that around. You'll get your beads set into that groove in, in the wheel. Now everything is set. You're ready to put your fronts and backs on. I get my fronts on first, get them nice and lined up. And then we'll get the backs on and get those lined up as well. And that's where the tape comes in. Once you have them all lined up, you can screw them together, pull the tape off, and you have a set of wheels. And of course, we check the drivetrain to make sure everything is working nice with AA battery. Everything sounds nice and smooth, so we're good to go. All right, everything's assembled. Let's stick the body on it and see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. We'll get some stickers on it next. 
and then once we get the stickers on there we'll get um, the paint on the roll bars and the lights done and then we'll take it outside.